everyone, it's Kylie Batucci here with you and I am so excited to be joining you. I am not live right now. I know that it appears as though I am, uh, but I've done a premiere, which is kind of like live. You girls get to chat with one another and guys, because I know I have a few men that follow me too, which is very nice. Uh, it's just nice you get to chat with one another. So include one another, chat, reply to each other and have a lot of fun. I really like this format of having a faux live, <laughs> a pretend live, because I like the fact that you all connect with one another and you see each other each week. So I'm keeping them in this little premiere system. Uh, next week we will be going live, so same time as what we're doing today, 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Time. So put that in your calendars for next week. It will be legit live. I will be saying hello to you and using all your names. And today I have a really, really exciting video to share with you and a few exciting announcements as well. Today I'm going to be highlighting this amazing bundle and there's a reason why I'm highlighting this bundle yet again. It's because there is going to be an amazing stamping up recruiting special June 3rd. I, we were trying to think of when the last time Stampin' Up! has done a recruiting special and like in June new catalogue time and I'm thinking it's like 10 years ago I can't even remember the last time in fact I'm like have they ever done it have they ever done a recruiting special like this during a new catalogue time but either way I am very excited about this special what does the special entail so firstly if you're not in Australia this may not make sense well it may a little but a few numbers may not make sense. So please talk to your demonstrator that you order through in your country. But in Australia, you can join for two, for $169. So you only pay $169. You can choose $235 of any product you like. So on the 3rd of June, it's going to be all the brand new product that you can put into your kit. It's fully customizable. You can choose anything you want. Now, on top of that, so that means you're getting $66 for free right there, right? So if you want one of the bundles that I've been using, the Forever Greenery bundle or the World of Good bundle, they're over $180. Instead of paying $180, you would only pay $169 and then you would have extra to spend. You would have $50 extra to spend. And then, but wait, there's more. Free postage, which is normally around $11 here in Australia, and a free bundle of your choice, hence why I'm showing this bundle here. This could be one of the bundles that you add to your starter kit for free next Wednesday, 3rd of June, when the new catalogue goes live. Oh, yes, please. So ultimately, this bundle here is actually the most expensive bundle because <laughs> yeah we want to get the most value out of this freebie right let's get let's milk every little bit that we can this bundle is actually in the catalog the cost is one hundred and four dollars and twenty five cents that's here in Australia you would get this for free on top of the sixty six dollars that you get for free and on top of the postage so ultimately that's like a hundred and seventy seven dollars even a bit more almost a hundred and eighty dollars of free product if you decide to join ah uh, yes please <laughs> so if you are considering this option please contact us we want to walk you through it we have videos to help you we want to support you if you have questions which a lot of people do when they think about joining do I have to sell? What are the quarterly minimums? All these type of questions come up and we don't want you to feel under any pressure at all. We just want you to get the best deal and the best option. 
And I'm telling you, it's the best of both. The best deal and the best option. My customers think they have the best thing happening and they do, they've got a very good thing happening. But it's even better when they become a team member because I have a lot of customers that have joined and they're like, why did I do that years ago? So please consider it. This is the best time to be doing this option. Another thing to keep in mind, not only do we have all these brand new products in this absolutely incredible catalog, how beautiful is this catalog? If you don't have this catalog yet, can I please just say to you, talk to your demonstrator and get one. You need one stat. If you don't have a demonstrator, please contact someone in your country. If you live in Australia, we will post it for you. You need to see this in the flesh to understand why we are so excited. There are so many beautiful, beautiful products. Now, Stampin' Up! have said you can pick any bundle you like, whether it's a punch bundle or a die bundle for free if you join next Wednesday. And it's for the whole rest of the month of June. But you know, next Wednesday is a good time to plan to join. Get in early. <laughs> But do you know how many bundles are in this catalogue? This will give you an idea of why you need to join. All up in the bundle section for punches, there are eight punch bundles. And you go, okay, yeah, there's a punch and a stamp set that go together and they're a bundle. Nice, eight of them. There are 24 die bundles. Just like this one that I've shown you here. Can you believe it? There's like 24 of these. <laughs> and look how beautiful this one is. You could get the Peony bundle for free on Wednesday. So please keep that in mind. Plus the $66 on top of it, plus the free postage. Plus after you join, you get 20% off everything you purchase. And I just wanna inform you that there's actually a new catalog coming after this one. In August, there's another mini catalog coming. So it's a no brainer. It's just like you, you have to join because <laughs> you, you need the 20% off. <laughs> Plus all the rest of the deal that goes with it. <laughs> so any questions, we are here for you. We're here to support you with anything that you need to know. Um, you can head over to our blog and make sure that you check out the join section. We have lots of information on our website. So please check that out and uh, anything that we can do to allay any fears or concerns. You can also call Stamping Up, the number's on the back of the catalogue. Uh, but we really want to support you in the best possible deal that you can get. Now, if you decide for whatever reason, I'm not sure what that reason would be. Um, I still get confused because one other thing that I want to point out is any special that a customer gets, demonst demonstrators also receive that as well. So starting on Wednesday, the 3rd of June, there's also a host promotion that if you spend um, or hold a workshop or a party and you get $400 in orders, then you get an extra $40 of host rewards. So then normally you would get $40, you get an extra $40. So you get $80 when you spend $400, right? Sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Sounds amazing. But what's really interesting is as a demonstrator, we receive that same thing as well. However, we don't pay $400. We get a minimum, minimum of 20% off. That increases depending on what level you are on, how many sales you're getting. So the base minimum is 20% off that. And then we're getting $80 for free as well. <laughs> so all of the rewards that our customers receive demonstrators receive as well, plus the 20% minimum discount. Hello, it's so good. So keep that in mind. But if you do decide, mm, I don't think I'll join, just think about maybe adding a few orders with some friends, try and get to that $400 mark um, to get that extra $80 of rewards. But my number one tip is definitely the joining special. I know that's $80 of free rewards, but $100, like $80 for free or $180 for free, I think I know which one I'd be choosing. <laughs> Give me the $180 for free, thanks. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs>
<laughs> so we're going to jump in. This is another take on that amazing technique that I showed you. I just wanted to show you how I do my watercoloring background and I don't do it often. I'm not really what I'm very bold geometric girl, but I know a lot of people love the beautiful look of watercoloring. I've never been able to do it. Give me a cheats version of watercoloring and this is it. This is your cheats version of watercoloring. So I am going to jump in and show you exactly how I do this because you'll probably laugh when you see this. You'll be like, are you for real, Kylie Batucci? That is a cheats version. It really is. And you're going to, I think you're going to be excited by this. So what I'm starting with is, and I'm going to share my screen here. Did you like the new screen format, by the way? I thought that was cool at the beginning, but I'm going to do um, my usual um, picture in picture for you so that I sit in the corner. Why, hello there. So what I have here is some shimmery white cardstock. Now, I highly recommend getting this shimmery white cardstock. You'll find it in the new catalog on page 153. A lot of people miss this cardstock because it's not sort of one of the basic cardstocks that, that are in the, the regular color section. What I love about shimmery cardstock is it's shimmery. So, hello, of course we love shimmery. Probably can't see it too well in this light. But what I love about shimmery cardstock is I'm not necessarily a watercolor paper fan, which we do have watercolor paper that's available and it has improved immensely. Uh, but I do love the look of the shimmery cardstock because it has sort of like a, um, it's not as porous. I don't know if that's even a word, but it seems to just smudge really well. I'm going to smudge the ink all over it. I'm just making up words now. <laughs> it's the only way I can do it. <laughs> now, I have a beautiful, amazing window sheet here that I need to use. And do you think that I can see it anywhere? You know why I can't see it? Because window sheets are invisible. It would have been really smart to actually put the window sheet on top of something, wouldn't it? Window sheet. Where are you? Where have you got? Oh, I found him. <laughs> he was very difficult to find. So what are we doing with a window sheet? How is this going to help us do watercoloring? Here we go. Here's the fun. So we get our aqua painter. Stampin' Up are changing the aqua painters. So keep that in mind. Uh, they're going to be a little bit thicker, yeah, different different brush tips, which is really cool. I'm really excited by that. And what I'm going to do in no particular fashion is just blub some water on there and, you know, pretend I know what I'm doing. And I really don't. I'm not a watercolorist at all. So just, you know, probably four drops or so, three drops. Just play around with it. Have a bit of fun with this. Now, I'm coming in with some colour. I've got my reinkers, and this is a great little technique to use with your reinkers. Depending on how dark you want to go will depend how many drops you use, of course. I like bold, so I'm going for bold. And you can just drop that in there. And I'm just going to do, so that's Bermuda. We've got Granny Apple, and then we've got Coastal Cabana. I think I'll do, yeah, I'll do my Granny in between. So a couple of drops of Granny. Thanks, Granny. And then we want Coastal. And again, I, I'm not, I'm just putting this on somewhere. I'm just making it up. We might even do a little bit over there. Just because we can. Why not? <laughs> and let's just hope this works. <laughs> oh, it's really jumping over here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we'll have a little bit of fun, but we don't want to... We don't want it to move too much. We want it to move, but not crazily. So we're just going to do a little bit of this. In fact, I'll grab my aqua painter and we'll just do a little bit of moving of this ink just so that it bleeds into the dots that we've already got there. So we don't really need to do much. Uh, yeah, that'll do. As I said, don't play with it too much because that's... 
that's where I get really caught up when I do it on paper. I'm like, do I move this? Where do I move this? Where do I move that? I don't know what to do. No, just blob it on. And if anything, if you think, oh, I don't know if it's going to look okay, then just put more water on. <laughs> just go, okay, I'll just put more water on everywhere. It'll be fine. It'll work out somehow. Then, shimmer cardstock. And all we're going to do is go like... So, you ready? I hope it's got enough ink. We'll soon find out. We can do it again anyway. Here we go. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. And then you can turn it over even. Just be careful not to. Oh, hello. It's made me look like a genius. This is what I love about this. Now, if you added more water underneath, of course, you could smoosh it even more. But I actually really like this technique. It, for me, it's like so easy and fun and simple. And I really like that. You can come in with your heat gun. And of course, the color isn't going to stay as vibrant when it dries. But the background technique like this isn't meant to necessarily take over. I mean, this is quite bold in comparison to most watercoloring techniques. But that is literally it, people. Get your window sheet, put some water on there, globby it on. <laughs> Do you like my technology, my technical terms? Glob it, smudge it, <laughs> chuck it. <laughs> I'm such an Australian. <laughs> everyone, everyone in the US and, and Europe are like, what's she talking about? I don't even know what she's saying. Is there a translator here? Oh, yes. Now, every time you do this, you're going to end up with something completely different each time. And it's really fun to do, like really good because... Um, you're just going to learn, okay, if I add a bit more water, if I don't add as much water, what will happen? If I add less ink, what will happen? But I think the big thing is not fussing. Um, and you can see the section here. I really love this look here. So you might want sections where you do actually not blend it because it just looks so beautiful and it's got that beautiful watercolour look to it. So I'm very happy with that. Now, what are we going to do with this? Well, I want to show off this amazing bundle that you can get for free on the 3rd of June if you join up. You'll love being part of the Crazy Crafters. It's such an awesome team. They're such a great group of girls and guys. You can come and join us. Bruno helps a lot. So what we're going to do, and I want to dry this a little bit more, but I'm going to use this that same press and seal technique that we did. I'll do it there, I think. Well, actually it won't matter if it goes off. So I'll place it exactly where I want it when it's finished. Oh, I actually like that one. Cause I'm gonna have the little sentiment down here, I think. If I do it this way. Ooh, actually no, I like that. I just keep, I just keep spinning until I find my happy place. And I think this is actually a full card size, which I will probably cut down. So I just have to keep that in mind as well. I love that. So I'll, I'll center it a little bit because I'll probably chop off a little bit here and chop off a little bit there. Great. So let's come in with the die cutting machine. Now the Stampin' Up! die cutting machine is coming. It sadly won't be available on the 3rd of June. Uh, just to do with manufacturing and probably all the situation with COVID hasn't helped either. Um, but it is coming apparently in June. So look out for that. And just keep in mind that if you join, you'll be able to get it for 20% off. Good time to join. Because I have a little mini one that's going to be available as well. So I think that's looking good. Anyway, it's a little 
little bit denser. We'll just leave it over the side here and I'll show you a different technique that I want to do. So one thing that I love about these dies uh, is the fact that we have the multi-purpose adhesive sheets that have come back. Thank you, Stamping Up. I'm so excited by that. So I've cut down these beautiful dies here. And just them on their own is just so gorgeous. Now, what's cool about doing these two sets of dies, I'm going to do some embossing down here, is the fact that we can trim, but we can keep these extra pieces and use it on another card. So I think Jennifer Maguire, she called it um, like the split technique, um, but this is kind of like the use the excess <laughs> Use what's left over technique. <laughs> um, I also did it in the gorgeous Coastal Cabana as well, if you just wanted to add a little accent of a third colour. So it's the same colours that I've used on the dye, on the um, water colouring there. So what I'll do is I might actually cut it out before I peel because once we peel, it's going to get very fiddly to play with. <laughs> I'll be like, ah! I could see that I was imagining it going, oh, how is this going to work? <laughs> How's this going to go down? <laughs> Only we know. <laughs> so we'll just pull that one away. I always like to cut from the back. I don't know why, but I find I can line it. I probably just the visual is easier. Oh, it feels like I'm... Oh, yeah, there we go. That adhesive strip is quite thick. Uh, if you did end up getting one of those amazing Stampin' Up! mini trimmers, this would probably be the time to use it. In fact, I think I'll use it for the other one. If you don't have that, then sorry, you'll have to use snips or just hope that Stampin' Up! bring out a mini, mini guillotine again. Maybe they'll bring out a big guillotine. Yes, please. Please step it up, bring out a big guillotine. So that one I'm going to do there. That's so pretty. So I just used that to, I wanted to keep that there until I knew exactly sort of the idea of where I want to go. I know I want my sentiment here. And the sentiment that I'm looking at using, it's good with these ones because they're, from the Blossom in Bloom. So probably the Thinking of You because it's a nice size to fit in that corner. And it's great versatile um, sentiment that you can use for a lot of different occasions as well. Even the I sure do miss you. It's perfect right now. Actually, I might end up using that because I have so many friends that I'm missing right now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get to the point where I'd feel like I really want to see my friends. <laughs> Because I'm always so busy. I'm like, I'm too busy. I wish I could see you, but it's just too busy. But now I'm like, mm. I was chatting to friends last night and I was like, I'm really missing you all. Especially my friends, my friend with the twins. It's like, oh my goodness, those girls are growing up so quickly. Now, yeah, will it let me? Probably not. It's probably not going to be the right size either way. <laughs> it's like... No, <laughs> you're not getting in there. I'll cut one side by hand and then I'll be able to cut the other probably. <laughs> because we need to keep it, I probably should just cut it. Good, att good attempt, Kylie. It would have been perfect. So. Oops. Let's make sure that's in the right place. We don't want to chop it, chop it in the wrong spot. There we go. Good. So remember, keep all those extra bits. And then we've got this tiny little one here that I want in the Coastal Cabana because I think it's just going to look so hot. So I've got that one. Make sure you keep your pieces and you know where they go. <laughs> keep reminding yourself. Yes, that's right. That's that was for there. <laughs> keep keep the to use later on the left and the use now on the right. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? There's so many people that have said I wasn't even looking at getting that 
um, bundle and then I've seen all these cards and I've seen other cards done with it and every card I've seen it's just gorgeous like so pretty so we'll go over here oh I've kept I found the spot and now I've, I've turned it over so that I can chop that one and because this is the larger one that means I can use that oops I'm cutting a bit of the black that's okay that means I can um, use this one as the bigger, the bigger one later. Come on, little one. You behave yourself. There we go. So let's have a look at this. We'll stick this down. It's really like, this is actually quite a simple card to do. It's just once you've got those layers cut out and just make sure that you're using your multi-purpose adhesive sheets before you cut out because there's nothing worse than doing your chopping and then going ah oh, i forgot to put the sheets on <laughs> no <laughs> i'm just going to move two seconds i'll put that one on so that i don't muck you up too much i've got this phone over here deciding that it wants some battery. Of course it does. There we go. Good. I think we're happy again now. Ta da! Now, I'm going to stick these down. What measurement did I do this? I just want to check what size it is. I think I may have done it the full. I think I've been cutting a little bit bigger lately. I'm like, oh, I'll do it the big size. I thought so. I was like, boy, that seems big. We might have to do some more cutting down. So do it your poppy parade layer size. If you don't have my card templates, you'll have to get them because they're really good fun. And they're going to help you do lots of layers. So this might be a little bit close now, but we'll check it out. Yeah, we need to cut that down a little bit. And then this one here. Oh, so pretty. Oh yeah, that still works, that one. So it's just this one in the corner. Good. That's not so bad. Wow, I'm really like losing. Look at this. <laughs> I'm like losing my eyesight so bad. Oh, the, the joys of getting to 40s. People used to say to me, can you read that? And I'd go, yeah, why wouldn't you be able to read it? Like, look at this. I can't even see. I'm like, where am I cutting? I think, I've, I think I've done it. <laughs> I'll stick that bit down. It's crazy how it just overnight it just changes. So what I'll do is come in with my trimmer and we'll pretend like no one was here. <laughs> Only all of you will know. <laughs> there we go. Nothing to look at here. Oh look at that. Look at how minky that is. I can't handle it. I need a new one. I've got a nice spare bit here that I used for my cutting. Hopefully it'll be big enough. <laughs> oh, Kylie, what will we do with you, Kylie? <laughs> and if you are OCD, just leave now. Please just go. If I'm frustrating you, just go. Don't leave a comment, just leave. Because <laughs> I'll mute you anyway. <laughs> This is called keeping it real, people. Keeping it real. And I'm just going to leave all of this in here because this is called real life. Yes, we all have eyesight issues as we get older. We can commiserate together. Oh, that is beautiful. Yes. We're winning. So what we're going to do now... We get to do the sticking. It's so cool. 
So I usually get um, my pick a tool, take your pick a tool, and you can just find a piece that's ready to come up and then you can just grab all the rest once you've got that piece happy. And line it up on the side, line it up at the bottom. Now, if you wanted to, I think it would be good to pop these out because it's so nice on the basic black. They're all sticky. Come on, little one. You too. You get out of there. I actually thought you could keep those little dots if you wanted to for like embellishments. Have them in the background. There was one other card I made the other day. I was like, oh, that would be a good way to use those little pieces. Especially because they've already got the adhesive on them. Okay. One down. Oh, look how beautiful that is. This die is just absolutely beautiful. And I'm usually not a flower girl, but I am just loving this bundle. I don't know, it's just got a sort of very fresh modern take. And that one. And I love that you can step it up, you can have this really fine die or you could have the um, layered section as well if you wanted to add more drama to your project well these adhesive sh sheets really do work it's great sticking to everything sticking to here. I've got a few stuck to me here. <laughs> stuck everywhere. I'm going to find them on Jasper and Bella lately. Afterwards, I'll be like, ah, why have you got a piece of flour on you? Line it up at the side, line it up at the top. Yes, yes, yes. They heard their name. They're outside my door now. Going, yeah? What'd you say about me? Were you talking about me behind my back? How dare you? And then... Maybe we'll go that way. <gasps> That's the way to do it, people. Adhesive facing upwards. And then pushing it out the other way. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely helps. Oh, so pretty. Line it up at the top and line it up on the side and then push down. Gorgeous. Now we want to do our embossing and we decided on the sure do miss you because I miss all my friends all my special friends and the little twins they're doing good though they're doing really well it, it would not be easy having kids during all of this especially for all those mums out there that are homeschooling props to all of you seriously that is so difficult. It's not easy at all. Coping with everything. And then some of you are even still working. I'm just like, my sister did that. For, like she was working at home and then looking after her kids. It's like craziness. Oh, P.S. Update about dad. He's had a lump found in his lung. So at the moment he's had... 
tests and the doctors definitely want to remove the lump no matter what and oh that's so pretty but yeah as soon as we know more they're just either way they want to remove it but they're not sure whether it's cancerous or not yet so they're gonna keep us updated I'll keep you updated too as soon as we know what's going on Bruno's dad had surgery this week he just came out of hospital this morning he had um, a new valve replaced in his heart it's just unbelievable what they can do with medicine now and he had the surgery and he's like yeah I feel great I think I should go now and they're like oh no you've got to stay here for a couple of days <laughs> yeah it's okay I'll, I'll go dad stay stay in the hospital they made a different stuff to us. Oh, so pretty. Wow. I love it. Chip it. Just a couple little extra pieces here that snuck out, but that's okay. We'll just cut them off. As long as I don't cut the cardstock, I'm looking very carefully this time. <laughs> I can't believe I literally could not even see the cardstock then. <laughs> it's all over. I can't see. Now, which base? Just pop it on the back. Oh. <laughs> this is bringing me very a lot of joy. I think that's going to win. That's nice, yeah. Mm, yeah, that's up right. That's the winner. But I think what I'm gonna do, I was gonna do a whisper white back background, just a very slim one, but no, actually I think I'll do it direct because I didn't do it small enough. Or maybe I could should I chop it? Because it would make everything neat. <laughs> it's typical Kylie fashion. <laughs> so if you have my card templates, <laughs> actually I think Bruno stole my card templates again. Bruno, have you stolen my card templates again? Of course you have. I'm just gonna chop Sorry. them. Oh good, I forgive you. I'm just happy you like them. All is forgiven because it means that. You were, he was helping me with the tutorial bundle. Thanks, my love. I have to do up your own set. That's it. I've decided. We need a his and hers card template set. <laughs> then we won't have these issues of me going, do you have my card templates? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do it up the top and on the side. So this is how I ended up chopping using the little mini chopper to measure. And then I knew exactly where to chop, although I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the top first, because then I can sit it up against there. So I line it up. Now, you after you line it up, that's when you move the card away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't learn from me. I ended up chop it, chopping one of my cards. I'm like, ah, that was a bit, that was a bit silly, Kylie Batucci. Then I line it up again. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because the mini trimmer doesn't have the measurements. But even if you're not using this for the mini trimmer, I'll show you why it's good for those of you that don't even know what I'm doing and what these card templates are. So what you do is you have your card base. So we know that this is going to be the base layer, the gorgeous grape, depending on what country you live in. Then I'm about to do another layer in the Calypso Coral using the Poppy Parade layer. And what it's going to do is just a tiny little outline. And then I know exactly what measurement I need for this layering to work. So they're the three layers I'm going to use. Now, depending on what country you live, you're going to have different measurements, different sizes. People, we use centimetres here in Australia, but people use inches as well. So I have um, inches for A4, A4 cardstock that we use here, and then US and Canada use um, 
I think they call it A2 or standard cardstock. Um, so that I have sizes for that as well. So definitely check that out. Now we need to do a, oh, I just found some of this. What size is this one? Oh, no, nah, it's not going to be big enough because I have my, I have my scrap pile that I use. I'll just move those out of the way. I should put them here because I will need to use it. Uh, I don't think any of these are going to be big enough. What size is that one? No, they're all too skinny. <gasps> what a shame. I'll have to cut into some Coastal Cabana. I did try and use my scraps, but it wouldn't let me. So this one we're doing at this size is going to be the Poppy Parade layer. And I cut our card front at the Melon Mambo layer size. So, voila. And if you wanted to save some cardstock, you could totally come in like this. Um, yeah, you can even get quite close. This is the cool thing about um, the Stampin' Up trimmers. You can sort of come in like this and just no particular, I'm just eyeballing really. Um, come in over there. Just make sure you don't go all the way or you're in a bit of trouble. <laughs> and come in over there. If that doesn't match up spot on, you can just come in with your snips or just go back over. And what this does is it gives you, because a lot of people don't cope with the fact that, that I'm matting all of that cardstock on a piece that's going to cover the majority of it. So that's a way that you can do it. I don't mind using a whole piece of cardstock that isn't going to be used, but if you want to be you know, a little bit mindful because it is environmental as well. Thinking about how much you're using. I could use that for something else later. Um, it just depends on how much time you've got to be able to do that. And we need our granny apple green layer as well. But yeah, that's a good thing about these trimmers is being able to cut oops, on the inside as well. I'm just getting to the point where I need to get new trimmers. Actually, I, was, I don't know if I even put that order in, actually. I have to do a shop. I'll be shopping next week, that's for sure. But I think I need to shop before so I can beat, beat the rush. <laughs> put in an order for the, for the trimmers. Trimmer blade replacements. Oh, so pretty. And see how it's just a slight little accent of that blue coastal cabana gorgeous coming with the tombow now i definitely want you to come back and check out my blog later so i can show you the actual original card that i was going to make for you I love to pivot very quickly. I'm like, ah, oh, it's, it's a little bit wet. Oh, well, let's just do another card. <laughs> let's just make up another card. Because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> so. I've realised why I couldn't see. I had the light, light pointed in the wrong direction. It's not my eyesight at all. It's just the lighting. Yeah. You tell yourself that, Kylie. <laughs> so pretty. <gasps> so good. And of course, we'll do the inside. And I've got them already pre-chopped. I do up a whole lot all at once. 
and I keep them in my wood mount case for the insert. And for those that have my card templates, it's the Poppy Parade size that I use the inserts. But something that I've been sort of doing lately, which has been a lot of fun, is decorating the top section as well. Like you could add some designer series paper, but particularly with this one, it would be really nice to add, um, say the new, um, the new color collection designer series paper. That would be a really nice way to highlight that beautiful paper. Um, I'm trying to think if we've got, I may have chopped it down actually. I'll see if I can find it for you because it's a, it's a really nice way to highlight that. I don't know if I got chopped here. Ooh. I'll show you what I've got. Uh, that one, that one. Okay, hard back again. So I was thinking maybe one of these might go really nice. That's the Forever Greenery. But even my project, uh, the Memories and More I put in there, these are the new in colour ones. And then I've got the World of Good. Uh, actually, is that any in colour ones or are they? Yes. Yes, so I, I, we're yet to get the new coloured ones, that's right. But I'll just see if one of these, and it's just so good having them chopped down and having them in those sections. Oh, so pretty, this paper. Look at that one. I think I'm going to do that one. Look at that. <gasps> yeah, does it match the front though? Does it go? Yeah, that goes. That's totally, that's totally going to match. And what I'm going to do, this is going to blow your mind, but this is something that I tried last night. Or the other, yeah, I don't know when. Sometime, somewhere. So what I did was stick that down. And I don't know if any of you follow uh, Kayla... I was going to say Macaulay, but she's McCready now. She got married. Uh, she is in our team. Very talented crafter. If you haven't checked out her work, you definitely need to see it. But she, like, takes the inside to a whole new level. I know I used to say, like, no nudie runs, but she's just, like, dressing that inside up like you've just never seen before. I thought, you know what, I need to do that. I need to really take advantage of our beautiful paper and dress this baby up. Because this paper, like when you chop the 12 by 12 paper down to these card front size, you end up with 72 sheets of designer series paper. And it gets to a point where you're like, that's a lot of cards. I don't know, I don't know if I know 72 people. <laughs> so it's nice to really like lash out and put it all on one card which is a lot of fun and yeah I did it that size so get your Bermuda Bay template so that's the card template and that's what I'm going to cut down the insert and because I've got this I can look at it gauge it and go yeah I like that because I want enough room that I can still write and if I want to, if it's a really close friend, I've got a lot to say, what I could do is do two of them. Or the other alternative that I thought would be a lot of fun is before I've had like an add-on where you like flip it down and it has like, you can have dual, like a big, big paged essay <laughs> of, of what you want to say. <laughs> Depends how many words you want to say. I, I like a lot of words. <laughs> as you can tell <laughs> so we'll come in and chop that down so I've got those measurements there for me it's different in every country there we go and you could totally layer that if you want to like step up again you could totally layer that on the Coastal Cabana size. Let's do it. Let's go all out so it'll be like that. 
So I'm going to do that in the granny apple green because, you know, we can. Party time. I feel like a rebel. Look at all this cardstock I'm using. It's so good. I saved some cardstock, so I have to, I'll give you permission, Kylie. You're allowed to use your crafting supplies. You're allowed to. It's not being exorbitant. It's being generous. See, these are the things we've got to tell ourselves because otherwise we go, oh, don't do that. You, you, you waste it. Where do we get these weird ideas from? No, we've got to use it. It's no good sitting on our bookshelf or a cupboard or it's like when we're making a card let's go all out and have a ball okay let's have a look at this so we're going to stick that down on there and that down on there it doesn't look beautiful so thanks for the inspo Kayla I was like I'm stepping these insides up I'm going, I'm going full ball. So let's stick that down. I used my green glue because it's just easy to wiggle. I'm not very good at getting things straight. So this helps me straighten things up after the fact. After I put it on crooked, I can go, now I can fix it. Good. Now, another option here, if you're one of those people that get a bit nervous about writing in your cards and you're scared you're going to make a mistake, just don't glue it down. Just have it in on the inside. Don't glue it down yet. And then you have freedom to write. And then once you've written, then stick it down because you know you're happy with it completely. And, and usually what happens is when you have more control over the fact that, you, you know, it's not final... You're not going to wreck your entire card that you've just spent time on. Um, I find that I'm a lot more confident and then I usually don't make a mistake. But it's just a good way. Just keep it on the inside. Don't, don't stick it down yet. And then have it, have it ready to go for when you do write in it. Just a little tip. But I know you want to see it finished. So let's finish it. <laughs> the other thing that I have been known to do is just... Um, stick over the top <laughs> I, I have done it before <laughs> so just make sure that that's straight yes I love the grid paper it helps me rather than looking at the pattern I've got to look at the grid is that not so cool I'm very very happy with that The inside is just a, just as much as a surprise as the in, as the outside. I think that's a lot of fun. I think decorating the inside is really good fun, and even doing that top section, like why not? Like especially when we cut down all that beautiful paper, and then we don't end up using it. It's not good. We want to stick it on, and then if you use your paper, guess what? I'll let you buy more. Yep, you have permission. You can buy another pack. I will let you. So, what time is it? Should I do my next one? You can leave now if you want to. I'll put a timer for each 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 um card that I'm making. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I want to show you how I finish it. I can't. I feel like it's not complete, and I would finish this video and do it anyway. So this way, you get to do it with me. So what I'm gonna do is. Choppity chop chop now that it's dry. And I'll do that at the Poppy Parade size. Poppy Parade is like my go-to. Although, no, I will do it at the Melon Mambo because I want to be able to layer behind. So keep this piece. That's going to be our inside piece. So I always like to do it a little bit larger to begin with. And then you can always chop, chop it down. Uh, is that the right one? Yes. Good. So we've got that happy. Then what we're going to do is our beautiful layer. Now it doesn't matter that this is going to be outside. Yes. Good. 
come in with our die cutting machine. Now, with this technique, it's really important to try and get as flat a plates as possible. This is the press and seal technique, this one. Paper piecing press and seal. So see how that's a little bit bowed. We'll see which one is the best, the best of a bad bunch. I think if we go this way, it will be better. It will be flat. Yeah, so that's flatter. It's not bowing. Okay. So we'll put that one there. And this one seems to be... That seems to be pretty good. Yep. And then we'll run that through. Am I happy with where everything is? Yes. Good. Because we want to really keep it in place. Sorry if I wobble you. I don't normally do the big shot on here. But I really want to show you from beginning to end this one. Because a few people are like, I don't understand how you put the paper, the press and seal on and I found a lady in Australia I'm doing this a lot of times because I really want it to work I should have actually put a shim that helps you can just put a piece of cardstock underneath now I'll just check it by flipping and then lifting hopefully it sticks to the I'm just having a look underneath here I'm so looking forward to the new machine <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Hopefully this works. If not, you'll all forgive me. Because you're so sweet and kind to me. Now I want this. This is gonna be our bestie. In case it decides to have a little hissy fit, which I think it is. Oh, there we go. Oh, good. It's not too bad. So what has happened? We've had a little shift, but oh, no, it's okay. Oh, 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 look at that. It's actually not bad at all. We've, we've salvaged the shift because it is a lot easier when it's in place and it's sitting on top of the die. Oh, don't press too hard. Stay there, Kylie. Do not touch it. I don't know why I came up with this technique. I'm like so bad with fiddly stuff <laughs> and I'm doing the most fiddly card ever. Okay. It's all about challenging ourselves, hey? It's good to, good to push ourselves out of our comfort zone. And I'm telling you, this is so far out of my comfort zone. It's scary. But that's good. It's good to be a bit scared. Good. It keeps you humble. <gasps> Ooh, stay there, little one. You behave. Come in with my picker tool. It's just this one side here. I think because it's cut down. So probably my tip would be just be aware that if you're doing it off, like it's sort of off the edge a bit, it does make it a little bit more fragile okay let's see how that goes we can always do a little bit of a shift later if we need to okay so that's one side so it's not perfect but that's okay we can come in and fix that now what that is doing is just keeping that in place and then we're going to use this other side here because you know waste not want not isn't that what our parents would say our mum would say that I'm just going to come in with snips. Oh, hello. It's doing a shift already. So I might actually be able to... Oh, oh, hello. So normally I would flip it, but it's actually... I oh, know it's probably better to flip. We'll just move this out of the way. But normally it's still attached to that. Good. Use that to flip it over so everything hopefully stays in place. We've got our other press and seal here. 
ready to go. Oh, this is going to look so beautiful. <laughs> it's a bit of work and it's a bit of fiddling, but if I can do it, totally you girls and guys can do it because I am really impatient and I like quick, simple, easy cards. But I really, really love this technique. Now, we're missing a little piece here. Did it end up on the die? Oh, there it is, I think. I think we've found it. Good thing we're puzzle experts, right? Because we want that piece as well. There it is. Put it that way. So pretty. And remember, I am not at all a um, background person, like watercoloring effects. But I'm really happy with how that's come up. So we're sticking that at the front. Now, the reason why we're doing that is because we're going to turn it over <clears throat> and then we'll need to remove the back. And this is so that we can use the back to stick everything down. So we need a piece of... Um, actually, I'll just run the bone folder over it because I did notice last time that when I did that, it just really stuck down nice and firm because I want it to stick to the base one. Good. That looks great. It's like... <laughs> and then we'll peel the back off. And this is definitely not a beginner's card. Like, this is a challenge card. Like... If you're sort of used to doing, you do the same thing and things get a little bit like, eh, I've done that before. I'm not really challenging myself. And I can get a bit like that. I get a bit ho-hum and I'm doing the same thing and what feels like the same thing. Um, and I just thought, you know what, I need to just sort of challenge myself creatively a bit every now and then. It's not something I would do all the time because our time we don't have a lot of it these days but every now and then we like a bit of a push ourselves out of the boundary out of the comfort zone now what color we're going to do this on i think i'm going to go for basic black i'm going to make it pop but the other color mm, so I think I did cut it down, didn't I? I could do another layer in between. What colour? I think I might do Bermuda. Ooh, do I want another granny? It's so pretty, isn't it? Where's Bermuda? Bermuda, Bahama. Ooh, nah, Bermuda's one. <laughs> it's the best way for me. I'm so visual. Like, just, just hold it up next to it. <laughs> then I'll know. Then there's no guessing. It's just like, yeah, sold. <laughs> so I'll move everything out of the way. Bring in our beautiful Stampin' Up! trimmer. The new one. And we also want to do the next layer. Oh, yes, it was the Poppy Parade layer. If, if I don't have a layer, I don't think it's going to be a drama. Okay. Get this 
fold it in half. Beautiful. Now I just want to hover over this and make sure, yeah, that's all happy. So what we're going to do with this one, this is a little bit different to what I did last time. So I have to actually really concentrate here. <laughs> I have to use my brain. So what I'm going to do, or what the idea is, is to stick down the outside. So I want to keep all the outside, but these inside pieces I'm going to raise up. Um, so probably the only tricky bits are going to be these insert pieces, which I still want to keep them. Like they're, they're little, so I might end up just doing Tombow on those. Um, the only thing I'm going to replace is the, well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll have a look at both and see what it looks like. I might end up keeping the frame as well. Um, but I was actually thinking of doing the frame in basic black and just having that really pop. But we'll see, I think it might end up looking great. I wonder if actually if I can raise... Hmm. All right, I think I've got an idea. Let's raise the whole thing. You raise me up with dimensionals from Stampin' Up. All right, I won't sing anymore. Handy little picker tool here to help me. Backings are everywhere. <laughs> Nothing new. Now, which way do I want it? That way? I think it was that way. Yeah, I really like that. Okay. So we're going to line it up as best as we can. Now, these little small bits that I know are going to go down, I want to push them in place because there's going to be some that are raised. Oh, this is actually working out better than I expected. I think that one I didn't add a... Yeah, yeah, that works. This is the best way to find out, isn't it? The only thing I'm not too sure of is how well it's lined up <laughs> around the outside. So here we go. Okay, so there's a little piece here that missed out some glue. So I'll grab that one. I need to replace my gummy bit. When it start, stops getting sticky, that's when you just ever so slowly just start to release that glue. It's like, no, it's not even glue. It's like a, a sticky substance. But the, yeah, it sort of keeps moving even after you stop. And then that can be sticky again. Helps you stick that down. It's 
it. Oh, that's a cool tool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now this one here, yeah, it doesn't have any glue, so I'll pick that one up. So even looking at this, like it would actually be really cool having the the um, backing showing as well if you wanted to. You didn't, you don't have to keep those pieces. Like there's so many different variations to this that you could do. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just highlight the um, watercoloring, like really show that beautiful watercoloring there. Yeah, that looks good. Now, the other option that we have here, we could leave it as is, and we've got some beautiful things here. Um, but what I could do is come in with this. Oh, actually, what we might even do. So I'll see if they can stick down. Well, a lot of them won't be able to stick. But that's another option too, is to take away the outside. But I think I'm going to leave it because it's just so pretty. There's another piece here that missed out on some glue another thing you could do if you don't like your picker tool i love it so i don't actually need it but some people use tweezers but i find it's actually i actually like this instead of tweezers it's become my tweezers So I'm going to leave this, but what I'm going to do is just push it down so that it goes lower. Now it's going to meet up with some of the other layer that we've pushed, but I think it's just a really, really pretty technique to have this like outside layer down and I probably would have added if I had have sort of known exactly what I was doing I probably would have added a little bit more glue to that but I think it's going to stay in place pretty well because we've got these piece or oh, there's probably a little bit of dimension that could go underneath there just to highlight that piece there so I'll do a little bit of surgery and cut one of these because it's a tiny little spot there but all those sort of things make a, a difference. Move that out of the way. I'm really happy with this card. Look, again, <laughs> some of you will be like, that took forever. <laughs> it's one of those specialty type cards. And I think it's something that if you did it often enough, um, you would get quicker. You know, once you know what you're doing, but this was something I've never done before. And basically, I'm testing it out on you guys. Just having a bit of creative fun with you all. You get to see my, my creative process <laughs> in, in real life, IRL. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Because I don't really want to take away from, like if anything, I probably would have raised them. Although, no, I don't want to take away from the flowers. So I think that's good. That one there, I might want to raise up. Well, it seems to be hovering nicely. So what I'll do is I'll just show you here what I mean with the dimensions so 
you can see that there's just this height and depth and then you can still see that beautiful Bermuda behind this part here I could probably push down a little bit more just to really heighten yeah it's almost like you're you're tucking it underneath it's so pretty yeah next time I'll probably definitely do the um, the glue around this layer here that's what's sort of popping back up again but it is just absolutely gorgeous especially with that sponge background because I was thinking of doing this and we'll, we'll have a look and see what it looks like uh, actually I don't think I can sh have a look without it taking it away but you know again this would look absolutely amazing with the black outline but I've got it on the um, on the tape and so it's a little bit difficult to pull off. Actually, I will pull it off. I'll pull so that we can see it because I'll use it for the inside piece. And it won't be wasted and we'll get to sort of have an idea of what this looks like. Because all these ideas, they get creative juices flowing might give you ideas and you'll be like, yes, I'm going to do that. Okay. Let's have a little look at this. Wow, it's so pretty. But I think what I like about, like once I push that down, it probably would really pop. I don't know. What am I going to do? I need you all here live <laughs> to tell me what to do. It's so pretty. I think I'm going to stick it down. <laughs> I think it really pops with the black. But I do want to take the time to pop out all these pieces. Although I was going to do it this way, wasn't I? I did learn that the hard way. Hold the, hold the adhesive up <laughs> and then push it down. It seems to leave it quicker. I think I can actually, I'll see if it does actually work with the... Um, Where's my little brush? There it is. We'll see if it works. Because I think I, I just assumed. Oh, yeah, it does. I just assumed because it had the adhesive that it wouldn't work as well. But you just can't sit it on the um, foam. got to keep it raised up this is concentrating Kylie <laughs> not hypo Kylie <laughs> this is Kylie and her creative element <laughs> it's like oh, I'll just try this let's do this So pretty. This this die is just spectacular. There we go. Now I really get to see it. So I need to go this way. I've got <laughs> black cutouts stuck to me everywhere. <laughs> Yes. 
yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I mean, I love both, but I'm going to stick it down. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> and once I stick it down, we'll have the dimension still. Some will be raised. And some will be lowered. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. <laughs> Good call. Good call, everyone. <laughs> everyone that said put the black down. Good call. <laughs> it's just made that so pop. But I'll definitely do it the other way as well. Now that we've, we've learnt this technique together. Trialling something new together. I'll show you exactly the dimension and how it all looks in a moment. You can, it's hard to tell when it's, um, when you're looking at it flat, but it is just spectacular. Like it's one of those things that if you got, got this, you'd be like, how even is that possible? How, how was that done? I think I've got most of them and it's good because the other pieces weren't stuck down this is sort of um, attached to those pieces and created more dimension and the fact that we didn't have to pull out the other piece I think is actually good because it's kept these little pieces in um, so you might want to add if you want more dimension to your to your leaves you could add another, um, what's that one doing there? It's like stuck to it. You could add another um, layer of dimensionals if you want to, or even um, what might be good to do is use the uh, strips and cut them down and use it that way. Because the strip dimensionals and it'll be interesting because we've got another set of dimensionals coming too. So maybe that would be thicker. Wow. Okay, let me show you this. Can you see that? <laughs> it's like epic. And then all I'm going to do for the base is basic black. This piece that I've stuck it to isn't the best. I think if I did it again, I would make sure that I um, stick it to maybe something a little bit smaller or just so that it, because it's, it was very difficult to line that up. So what I might do, uh, just to hide that a bit. Hopefully we'll do a fixer upper and I'll just use some of my scrap here and come in and do the same size or oh, maybe a little bit yeah I'll do the same size that'll be good and we'll see what it looks like because you could counterbalance it with a bit of something behind because it's not bad that it's crooked but if you sort of then do it intentional it'll hide the crooked layers suddenly it takes the eye away from it the other idea would be yeah because you just don't see enough of it so I definitely think I'm going to angle that And it'll just look like it's got a few extra layers on it. And it doesn't matter if it's sort of out a bit. Good. So we'll do that. So cool. So 
but just slightly. We don't want it too much because we don't want it overhanging, but just really creating that little bit of interest and it's just taking the eye away from the crookedness of what was there before. It looks like these random like layers have just happened, which is great. That's what we want. And then we can stick it on. I think I'll do it so that it's yeah, like that. So it's almost like lining up that one. So this is going to be off center. Good. Then I have my Versamark and I'm pretty sure I've got a piece of basic black. Um, I did have a piece of basic black. It went walking to you. It went away. That and the window sheet took off together. Oh no, here it is. <laughs> it's covered in <laughs> cardstock and framelits. <laughs> so we'll come in here and yeah, get well soon. I love these sentiments in this um, set. It's so pretty. Now this we don't have to be too fussed about getting straight because we're just going to come in with snips. Keep it really simple. I want it as thin as possible. In fact, I'll use my trimmer that I wanted to use before. That's why you never want to miss a Stampin' Up! special. Because <laughs> you miss out on cool things like trimmers and free bundles and you missed out on the trimmer, get the free bundle. I do like it for this exact purpose. It's really cute. The other way because I think I've got more control over where it lines up. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. Now, there's a few different things we can do. You can always go shorter. I mean, you can always, yeah, you can always cut down, but you can't make something longer. So I like to start off longer and then I can always go shorter if I want to so I could sort of go I could just have one little bit I could go the whole length one thing I do like oh that's raised that bit I do like it in this white space section here the full length maybe even just having it snuck out. I don't I definitely don't like it here. That's not giving me good vibes. That one is, that's looking very nice. Yeah, I think it's something like that, but I don't want it to cover too much of that flower. So and I want it to follow the even though it's going to be slightly crooked because the angle, 
I want to follow that full length there and do it to that. And I think I'm going to do it flat. So there you go. That is what we're going to do. Now, I might just check that I can snip. Will I be able to get in there? I might snip it first because I know the measurements of that. Do you like how I talk to myself as I'm, hmm, what am I going to do? <laughs> how is this going to go down? Yes. A bit lower because I don't want it to cover the middle. Ooh. I do like this leaf though. I don't want to really want to cover that. That one's nice. I actually think that might be the winner. Yep. It's so pretty. Or I go like that. Yeah, it's definitely got to be. Look at me. <laughs> I think it's gonna be like that. <laughs> so it's like just do it, Kylie. Don't second guess. Yeah, done. Sold. Sold to the highest bidder. Oh yes. That is so pretty. <laughs> it makes me want to cry. <laughs> I've got tears in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing here? Because, you know, we don't want any nudie Rudy cards. So, I've got the... Look at me, I'm like... Where is everything? <laughs> Creative Kylie's hit. It's chaos. <laughs> We've got some of our previous watercolour here, which is fantastic. And, oh, there they are. I've got my... We've even got these too. What colours have we got again? So... It's actually very nice, but I want it more. Oh, that one's nice. <gasps> I think I've got it, people. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Sold. I want the other side. I'm going to do the same on me. It can be. I'm like, come on, where is the stripies? <laughs> I've probably used them all because they're just so delicious. Yeah, I think the stripies are hard because the both sides are beautiful. Oh, you don't need that just yet. We don't need that anymore because we're going to dress it up with this. Um, Stampin' Up! paper just amazing. Oh, it's just so spectacular. Love it. Job it. There we go. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And then our 
Bermuda Bay. Just checking nothing got damaged. Um, I'm going to do basic black. And that'll be the Coastal Cabana size. And then the Bermuda Bay size like that. And I'm going to do it in the black and in Mr. White. Because that's going to look hot. So, Coastal Cabana, you move, you go out of the way. You can be happy here. You make it take your place. Down. I hope you're crafting along with me. These are the best type of videos to watch while you're crafting. If you're here for a fast technique, no. My videos are designed to just sit with me and craft as if you're in my craft room and we're chilling together. That's the way they work. And if you are crafting, I'd love to hear about it. And I'd love you to send me your cards too. I have lots of people around the world that send me pictures of their cards and they do scrappy strips and it's so awesome. Tagging, hashtag. This technique is the PPPST technique. The paper piecing press and seal technique. And there we have it. Ready? Look at all that dimension. It's so gorgeous. So cool. Love it. I love it's all up and down. So there are our two cards. So that's my faux watercolouring. And then we did this one while we were waiting for the faux watercolouring to, to dry. And just remember that if you live in Australia and you want to join Stampy Up, we'd love to help you. I'll um, take a little picture with our cards today. The um, Forever Greenery um, Designer Series paper totally inspired me. <laughs> love it jump it so thank you so much for being here today and thank you for watching these two cards it's a little bit longer than i expected <laughs> but i'm really happy with both of these designs and really excited about this technique and i'd love to hear from you all if you have any questions about uh products here in australia we'd love to help you any way we can just message um, and please share, please subscribe, please like. It helps the YouTube robots somehow. I'm not sure how. <laughs> but have a wonderful, wonderful week. And we will see you live next week. So put it in your diaries, 10 a.m. Australian time, standard time. Uh, and I'll pop the link below to, to all of the different things. If you're on a phone, you will need to click on the header there's like a little arrow next to the header and it all pops up um, if you're on the computer it's pretty easy to see you've just got to see a little see more section and then all the links will pop up there so uh, definitely if you need any of those links shopping joining all of those and if you have questions about the joining special don't hesitate to ask if you need a catalog we've got a catalog here for you if you live in Australia uh, so thank you so much for your support and we shall see you next week. Bye everyone, see you soon. If you enjoyed our video today, please subscribe and you can visit our blog. Also, there's other videos here to watch too for more enjoyment. Thanks for following.